Okay, first of all, is 34% a lot when it comes to Caterpillar? Well, if you look at the last three years, um, it's been 5% or less have disapproved. So it's a surprising jump. Well, what happened over the, over the last, you know, 12 months? What went down? Uh, they had a third year of underperforming their machinery peers uh, in, in stock performance and earnings growth. Uh, they've dealt with, uh, you know, terrible markets, but there's also been some execution issues. Uh, also, you know, they've done some big M&A that, that will probably pay off long term, but is hurting them right now. So, Well, let's move through some of their m and It seems like they've, the, a lot of their acquisitions happened in 2010, 2011. Their last two were really focused on mining, in particular China. What were they? How much did they spend? And when is it actually going to pay off? Uh, you know, the biggest one, um, in fact, in Kat's history was Bucyrus Erie. Mm -hmm. uh, well, sorry, I'm old. It's Bucyrus. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and um, they paid $8.6 billion for that. It was a very well positioned in, in uh, underground mining as well as surface mining. It was a good complementary acquisition. However, they bought it and got one good year before the whole commodity market mm -hmm. fell apart. So they have been dealing with depressed commodity prices. That is a 20% operating margin business, and it's now at 6%. So that's really hurt. What, what commodity does Caterpillar have the most exposure to, and what country? It's, uh, well, it's, it's glo they're global markets. Copper is very important. Coal is very important. Iron ore is very important. So, and China is 45% of consumption for most metals. So China slowed. And that the whole uh, mining market really collapsed. So why aren't its peers suffering just as much, like a deer, for example? I know they have a lot of exposure to farming, but that has its own problems too. Grain prices haven't been holding up that well. Uh, you know, Joy is a pure um, mining play, and they have had difficulties. Although um, you know they've done fairly well in a tough market. Deer is 85% ag. However, that market is down for a second year quite dramatically. Deer's execution has been quite good, and it's actually very surprising to me when you look at Deer's stock that they're markets are down 30 percent and their stocks you know it's been down and back up again but it's barely you know it's about where it was when markets were good part of that is because uh, deer stayed in front of the declines they've cut production very quickly they've um, you know they've been able to adapt to a down market now their earnings are down a lot but they're executing much better than they have in the past and much better than than most machinery companies would in a down market so what happened to caterpillar I mean yes it seems like their problems are economic but it seems like their real specific issues are purely execution at this point, uh, point. well um, mining is really down almost by two-thirds so I will give them the fact that they've had a terrible decline in a very high margin business uh, but also they got caught with excess inventory which required them to produce a lot less than in market demand uh, they did have the problems in China now no one thought China was going to cut be, you know uh, excavator demand was going to be cut in more than half right but they bought right when that thing collapsed and then they had to write down the uh, China mining business by you know they had to take a 500 million dollar write-off so what's next here for shareholders? So they obviously voiced their displeasure with the CEO, Doug Ober Oberhelman. Am I saying yes, that right? Yes. Because you knew him way back in the day. Um, what do they do now? You know, they, their next problem is, is energy because energy is now turning down. And CAT makes big, you know, um, uh, generators and things like that for oil rigs. And so that's sort of their next problem. I mean, they've got to continue to cut. Um, uh, you know, inventories, uh, probably buy back more stock. They, ha they have bought about $4 billion in stock uh, last year and, you know, another couple hundred million this year, but uh, they probably need to do more than that. They increase the dividend 10%. You know, that'll give people a little bit to, while they wait. Uh, but, you know, in, in, and they have to not do any more acquisitions in the short run. But I don't think he will. I, you know, uh, Doug they has been more... They need to have more, a little bit of yeah, breathing room yeah, at this point. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they are generating cash flow. It's not like they have those kind of concerns. It's just the earnings are not there.